Good afternoon. Welcome to a special Priory Community School edition of Gardener's World. I'm here in uh, sunny North Somerset this afternoon. On a Saturday afternoon, I uh, expect uh, students will be working hard at home with your home learning. I'm also working hard. I'm here undertaking a project in the garden. And I've got this circular patio. It's absolutely ideal size for putting the chair and tables on and sort of having a family meal in the outdoors. The only problem with it is, is it's, it's very plain, it's a little bit ugly. So I want to keep something the same size but replace it with something that's going to be just a bit more attractive. I looked in the gardening catalogues, I need to find out some information about the size of this circle so I can order the replacement. First of all I need to find out the circumference. I'm going to need to find the diameter of the circle and times it by pi. So the diameter is the distance across the centre of the circle from one side to the other side, passing through the centre point of the circle. So just let me grab my tape now, yeah? Let's have a look. So, moving very carefully here, it is exactly a diameter of 180 centimetres, or if you like, 1.8 metres. Now, to find out the circumference, the perimeter, the distance around the outside, I need to times the diameter, which if you remember was 1.8 metres, by pi. Now I use pi uh, rounded up to two decimal places, 3.14. Okay, so 1.8 the diameter, times pi, 3.14. That gives us a circumference of 5.65 metres. So the distance all the way around the edge of the circle is 5.65 metres. Now the other uh, information I need to find out about the circle here is the area. Now to calculate the area it's pi r squared. So for r I mean radius. Now the radius is the distance from the edge of the circle to the centre point. So not like the diameter that's all the way across, it's just going halfway across to the centre of the circle. So I know that the diameter here is 1.8, so this radius is going to be half of that, so it's going to be 90 centimetres or 0 0.9 of a metre. So we need to square that and times it by pi, pi r squared, to work out the area of the circle. So 0 0.9 squared, or 0 0.9 times 0 0.9, gives us 0 0.81 and we're going to times that by pi so 0 0.81 times 3.14 equals 2.54 meters and because it's an area meters squared. So I now have all the information I need to be able to go and order my attractive new patio for my garden. Right, that's all we've got time for on this uh, PCS gardening maths lesson for this week. Uh, if you require any further help with your maths, please um, do go and approach your maths teacher. If you need any gardening tips, then I'm more than happy to help.